Boom! What's up, Overcome Army? It is Monday. It is that, it's that day, guys. It's that day. Click that reset button. I don't care what happened last week, guys. This week is a new week. I don't care if, man, I don't care if you got so off course, if the world is burning down around you. Guess what? Bust out those fire extinguishers, put out the fire, and bust out your compass. It's time to get back on course. That's what this life is. We get off course. We, we get knocked down. We, we, we have problems, man. We have minor failures, major failures, and we have the, the setbacks in our minds, you know? But at the end of the day, what makes successful people successful is they get back on course. They look at their goals. They look at where they're going and they go, okay, well, that's in the past. And now I'm going to drive back forward. And that is what Monday is all about. You know, there's so many people that are like, oh, Monday, get up, man. Get up and get off that X. Look at your goals. Get reorganized and go after them. So, all right. So what are we talking about this week? This week, we're talking about pow. We're talking about, yeah, we're talking about the slap herd around the world. And, and guys, I won't lie. When I first saw this, I was like, God, I can't believe this is dominating the news cycle. I mean, um, you know, Will Smith's a great actor. I enjoyed watching a lot of his movies, but I was like, I can't believe we were watching um, this. Although I started to think about it more as I saw more media and I started applying it from a position of leadership. And guys, when I talk about leadership, you know, you know, I talk about the Pentagon and peak performance, physical leadership, mental leadership. And the number third level, of course, is that emotional leadership. And I started thinking about this and I was like, you know what? Really, this is what this comes down to. It comes down to a level of emotional leadership. And, and, and let's dissect that. Let's dissect that. Because I hear people from, I, I, you know, everybody has an opinion on everything in the age of social media and instantaneous information. And, you know, I hear the alpha males being like, yeah, Will Smith, he did what was right, man. That's absolutely right. Chris Rock insulted his wife and he did exactly what was right. We need more men to be doing this. I And I see their point a little bit. I will caveat that. I see their point a little bit. I do think that we need individuals who are willing to step up and stand for what they believe in. And obviously, you know, I talk about lead, produce, protect, protecting your family and your loved ones uh, is an important thing, but we're going to come back to emotional leadership. And then, you know, there are others that are like, oh, my God, Will Smith's uh, a monster and, you know, this and that. And the problem is in this life, we look at things at a very surface level. You know, we look at it right in the moment. So what we don't look at is let's get super deep into the emotional levels. Like, where was Will Smith at? You know, where was Will Smith at when, when all of this occurred? And this starts to get into how do we run our lives in this machine and our brain and emotional state day in and day out? Because strong emotional leadership is a critical thing. And there's a lot of self-assessment that needs to be going on at all times because, you know, I started thinking that maybe for Will Smith, maybe he and Jada had a big argument right before they came to the Oscars. And maybe there had been some brewing tension that had been occurring. Like maybe Jada said, you never stand up for me. You never defend me. You never protect me. Maybe this had been going on for a while. And maybe they got into a fight right before the Oscars. So there was already a level of tension, which had brought Will Smith from, you know, green level of emotional leadership or emotional awareness is, hey man, everything's good. I have no stress. Yellow, your teapot is starting to boil. It's agitated. Red, that teapot is ready to go, man. It is ready. You know, all you need is a trigger to set you off. You know, it's like the gun is cocked and all you need is a trigger. And maybe, unfortunately, that night, that was the trigger. And this is where it's super important to be honest and to always be analyzing and aware of where are you at. Um, those of you in my Overcome Army know I've told the story about a few years ago where I was at a New Year's Eve party. And guys, I don't know why. Who knows what I had going on? My self-assessment was weak at that moment. We were playing a game, a game, New Year's Eve, playing a game. And the guy uh, that I was playing against, it was this stupid game with chopsticks. You had to put in, you know, M&Ms in a cup. You had to pick a certain color. And and, and this guy was kind of being a jerk, Um so really, when you look at levels of awareness, 
you know, for myself, I'm super competitive. So I already should have placed myself in a yellow zone, knowing myself, I, I can get pretty amped up and aggressive when it comes to uh, any type of competition. Um, and then this guy on his level, he was coming at me with probably a yellow level also. So yellow and yellow came together, probably pushed me a little higher than I should be. And, uh, and I got pretty aggressive. Um, I, I did not hit this guy, although I thought about it. Um, but that was weak emotional leadership on my part, my part, guys. I should have been more attuned to myself and recognize, Jay, you're super competitive. You need to take it down a notch. Uh, it's a freaking game. So those are the two things. You got to have awareness of yourself and you got to have awareness of the situation and how you view it. So let's go back to the Will Smith situation. So one, awareness of himself. Who knows? Will Smith might have stepped into the Oscars and he was already at a red. So now let's go to the flip side of the coin. You got to get Chris Rock who made this statement. And in my mind, guys, I, I watch this. And if you look at offensive statements, and let's rank this as... You know, if you look at a green statement, somebody makes a lighthearted joke about you. In my opinion, that's green. A yellow statement, you're, you're crossing lines. It's, it's, you know, it's getting a little salacious. You know, you're, you're insulting a mom, a wife's uh, um, innocence. You know, it could be sexual innuendo. It could be um, inappropriate. You know, it could be a veiled threat. Those are yellow. And then, of course, when you're getting into the red, at that point, that is, you know, you have totally insulted uh, someone's um, innocence. It's, it's super salacious. It could be sexually oriented. It could be, um, it could be obviously crossing over to where there's actually physical contact, you know, like you have groped or, or touched, um, you know, a member of your family. And at that point, the red... Yeah, I mean, at that point, you need to decide, is it, is it go time? How are you going to approach this situation? So when I look at that, I look at what Chris Rock said. I'm like, man, that, that's in the green. I mean, he made a joke about, uh, you know, Jada's hair and looking, or, you know, Jada's lack of hair and looking like Demi Moore in the movie G.I. Um, you know, kind of funny. And uh, also, in my opinion, in the green. I mean, I mean, you know, he poked a little fun at uh, at uh, Jada, but I didn't feel like it was hugely insulting. And you know, I know, like I said, going back full circle, there are you know guys, alpha males. I mean, I watch guys post stuff, and they were like, you know, yes, absolutely. Will Smith did the right thing. That's what you should do. You should definitely punch or kill anyone who says anything about your family. And I'm like, dude. Lighten up, Francis. I mean, give me a break. Um, like I said, you know, it was not in the yellow. It definitely was not in the red. In my opinion, you know, just the way I look at it, that, that was a green comment. Um, and, and now let's bring it all full circle to emotional leadership. How do we manage these situations and these emotions? So one, we're on two levels. Number one is our own individual assessment. So once again, you know, where was Will at? Where are you at? Going into any situation, you should always have, should have an assessment of where you are in, um, where you are emotionally. Are you in the green? Are you in the yellow? Are you in the red? If you are stepping into, I am very aware because emotional leadership is my weakest level, guys. I can quickly go off like that night I went off on that guy when we were playing that stupid chopsticks New Year's Eve game. I mean, it was just, it was stupid. Um, and I, I don't know, I, I was not doing a good job of emotional leadership, of assessing myself. I should have gone into that knowing, Jay, you're super competitive. You should at least be in the yellow. You should at least have an awareness that you could quickly go off. And it's in any other situation. If you are a leader in a business and maybe you've had a, maybe you had a fight with your spouse, or maybe you just had a stressful situation with another employee, staff member, or your boss, whatever it is, you're already in the yellow. So now if you step into another situation, you should be aware, I need to take a breath before I react to anything that's about to happen because I already know I'm at a tripping point that I could quickly go from yellow to red, where in red, you know, if we're not careful, that's where we can react. So 
So in this situation, I think being aware, you know, because like I said, I mean, who knows what happened? Um, who knows what happened? If you watch the video when Chris Rock made that statement, Will laughs. Ha <laughs> ha he laughs. And then whatever happens, happens. So it makes me wonder, was there this tension? Was there this underlying stress? Was he already in the yellow? And then maybe because there could have been this underlying stress and maybe it had something to do with Jada saying, you never stand up for me. And all of a sudden, you know, camera pans away and Jada goes, are you going to let him do that? Are you going to let him say that to me? And Will Smith said, man, he went from yellow to red and bam. And that's what happened. Uh, my, my, um, my advice, you know, my advice to all of you, be aware of where you are at at all times in all situations. That is strong emotional leadership. Push into the positivity, push into the uh, even keel, stoicism as a leader. When something happens, the biggest thing you can do is take a breath and a step back. Um, you know, if, if you are insulted, unless it's a situation where now it's in the red. I mean, if someone gropes, uh, uh, majorly attacks your family or one of your loved ones with an insult or something like that, at that point, in my opinion, it's game one. And uh, so for all you alpha males, you're cleared hot, bro. You know, I'm definitely not one who's, you know, I am not necessarily a pacifist. I am one that there is a time and place to protect and to bring violence. Uh, and there are some people who will disagree with me, and that's fine. That's your opinion. But I do think it should always be calculated. It should always, you should have gone through a decision process. In my opinion, what happened with Will Smith was a snap judgment. Uh, and I think that's weak emotional leadership, you know. Uh, I think what he could have done is said, Jada, I'm going to deal with this. Afterwards, he could have gone up to Chris Rock and said, hey, man, I didn't appreciate your comment. You know, you were trying to be funny, but it was insulting to my wife. You owe my wife an apology. And hopefully Chris Rock would have said, hey, man, it's just a joke. I, I really didn't intend that. I'd be glad to apologize to your wife. Or Chris Rock could have said, hey, man, screw you. I'm a comedian. It's what I do. And at that point, Will Smith could have said, you know what, bro, let's go step outside. You and me, mano a mano. And uh, we're going to settle this. And that is how it should be done, in my opinion. Even if it escalates to the higher levels, uh, there should be a thought process. That is emotional leadership, guys. If you want to be an effective leader, if you want to be a peak performer, you can't just be flying off the handle and, and doing things. I mean, that's kind of how I led my life. That led to some of those 5% moments when I was a younger leader. You got to be aware of yourself. So green, yellow, red with your emotional awareness, you got to be aware of what input you're being put in, green, yellow, red, and recognize if you're in a yellow and somebody else brings a green or a yellow, it could push you to a red. Obviously, if you're already at red, man, somebody could just say something green and snap you off, which I imagine probably is what happened to Will Smith that night. All right, guys, that is my message from Monday Muster. <clears throat> Work on that emotional leadership. For most people, it is a weak spot. It is a weak spot for me. So that's why I'm always aware if I'm tired, if I've had a drink, uh, if, if I've had a lot of stuff go on, I want to be aware of where I'm at in my emotional leadership. Green, yellow, red to know where I'm at so I make sure I don't snap when the impulse come, or when the input comes in. All right, guys, that's how you should lead your week. That is the message. Flex those muscles, those emotional muscles, not necessarily the physical muscles this week, and that'll help you achieve that elite performance. If you are interested in learning more, I have my personal coaching group, my amazing group, the Overcome Army. It is a group all about relentless positivity, relentlessly driving forward. It is about goal setting. It is about supporting each other. Check us out at overcomearmy.com. And then if you, uh, if you like this video and you're watching it on YouTube, maybe it's the first time you see Monday Monster. I put out a Monday Monster every Monday. Uh, check it out and click, click right on that subscribe button and go down and write a comment, man. Say, hey, I really like this. This is really great content. That's what I'm about, man. Put down great content on how you can be a better leader of yourself. That's Monday Monster. It's April 4th, uh, 2022, and we are...